Hello guys, welcome to Vincistech.com and my name is Murli and today we will see how to set up a J unit for a simple Java application. Right? So first we need for that an Eclipse editor. I am doing in Eclipse and I hope you already know about Eclipse and little bit Java programming. And this J unit is nothing but it's a unit test framework for Java applications. Right? So go to Google and type here J unit. The very first link you can see here junit.org and here you can see the definition of J unit. So J unit is a simple framework to write repeatable tests. Okay. So means you can set up a test framework by using J unit and in the J unit you have more control over the programming means coding and you can do unit testing for Java applications and of course now we are using this test framework for Selenium uh, testing as well right so let's uh, start a simple program with JUnit and just let you know that JUnit comes built in with Eclipse okay you no need to install again right so click on file new Java project and here type sample J unit and click on finish and you can see here left hand side I have created a Java project and now I want to add J unit library to this project right so sample J unit project name right click and click on properties and here you can see left hand side Java build path click that and at the top you have libraries here in the middle and at right hand side you can see a small button called add library that's the fourth one yeah add library and here you can see J unit and click next and you can see here J unit 3 and 4 is a little bit older version of my Eclipse so in the maybe latest versions of Eclipse you can see directly J unit 4 right so select the J unit 4 and click on finish and click on OK and here you can see the J unit library is added is a jar, J unit jar file and uh, some ham crest commands like this right so J unit is added to your library and click on OK and here left hand side you can see here J unit is added to your project right so now your Java program is ready to do a J unit work right so now source right click new and class right so here I'm writing say example test case one right so in the J unit I would like to tell you there is no main method so that's why I'm not clicking here public static void main okay click finish right so now this is a simple java program with one class say test case one so later on you can change this to login test register test my account whatever according to your test requirements right so in j unit you don't have a main method you don't have a main method even though it is a java program you don't have a main method right and j unit is a test framework for java applications best suitable for repeatable tests and you have here uh, sweet class or runner so it will be used to run the tests one by one right so here you have annotations annotations means at the rate symbol these are all called annotations so these annotations acts like a main method each annotation executes a 
block of code or unit of code right so here we, have, we don't have a main method so that's the reason we are using annotations here through annotations you are going to control the java applications or unit testing or selenium automation whatever it may be okay so this jnt is a test framework for java applications best suitable for repeatable tests and you have here some sweet class actually yeah it says annotation here and it will be used to run the test one by one and you can see some more features in the jnt okay right so now i want to execute a simple test so for that i have to write here annotation called like this so this is the annotation it will execute the test it will execute the test case right so in j unit you have to write every test like a method okay in a java method so under test if you put mouse over there you cannot import anything at moment but if you write some method under this then you can import something here let us see so public void i will write say login so this is a method i want to test this right so later on we will write some selenium code here like web driver d equals to new firefox driver whatever like that we can write selenium code later on here and now put mouse over there see now you can see import test so now i imported so here time being i will just write one simple java output statement like login test is login testing going on something like this i would like to write some test like this and save and click on run here see at the left hand side you can see the test case which is executed login test and here you can see login test is going on right so now see there is no main method so this test annotation will execute your test even you can add all your selenium code here you can write selenium code here add the jar files to the java project and run it so it will run it without any main method right so this how you are going to execute a simple j unit test framework right so let's see you can execute a simple java programs as well as a unit testing right so i will add one more test here source right click new class say test case 2 this is a test case 2 so here i would like to execute some small unit test say i want to do some sum two numbers so public void sum so this is my method so input mouse over there import the thing so here i want to just add so here you can just implement any variables like this c a equals 200 int b equals to 200 so i will write system dot out dot print ln the sum is something i will write like this c right say here write some in c equals to a plus b so like this you can execute while loops for loops whatever java programming as well as a unit test okay so save and run you can see test case 2 and you can see the method is executed in here and you can see the sum is 300 right so like this you can execute all the test cases so now the question is i will add say 10 10 test cases under this module so i want to run all the test cases one by one so let's see in next class okay right so thank you for watching the video